and pictures. The busy ant works hard all day and never stops to rest or play. He carries things ten times his size and never grumbles, whines or cries. And even climbing flower stalks, he always runs, he never walks. He loves his work, he never tires and never puffs, pants or perspires. Yet though I praise his boundless vim, I am not really fond of him. Hello. Have you ever looked really closely at an ant? I've got a picture of one in this book here. It's got six legs and these two feelers called antennae. An ant with antennae. Anorak. Apple. What else can you see that starts with the same sound? Hello, I'm Robert. And I'm Ruth. We, we like alligators because they're wild. There are lots of alligators in this swamp house. Alligators are reptiles. Reptiles have hard scaly bodies or shells. Alligators and crocodiles belong to the same family. They've been living on Earth for over 200 million years. They were around at the same time as dinosaurs when there weren't any people. We're going over the bridge to take a closer look at the alligators. It's really wobbly and really scary at first. Oh, look at its tail. These are American alligators. This swamp house is just like the place alligators live when they're in the wild. It's hot and sticky and there's plenty of fresh water. They've got very strong tails and webbed feet so they can swim. Look how he moves. There he goes. Swish, swish. On land, they move slowly. This is a female alligator. Alligators enjoy basking in the sun. It's feeding time. In the wild, alligators eat fish, birds and large animals like antelopes. Crocodiles are different from alligators. They have long pointed noses. They're called snouts. Alligators have short, broad snouts. When the crocodile's jaws are closed, the two bottom teeth stick out. I think they look like fangs. When the alligator's mouth is closed, you can't see its bottom teeth. Crocodiles are more dangerous than alligators. The sun is going down now. 
The alligators are resting. Don't you think alligators are amazing? Alligator? Ant. And hidden on this board is another animal. It's got eight legs and likes spinning webs. It's a spider. And this particular spider is a very clever spider called a Nancy. Long ago, in a forest, there lived a group of animals. The tiger was very strong. The snake was very long and the spider was very clever. This particular spider was called Anansi. All the other animals thought that Anansi was small and weak, but one day he showed them just how clever he was. Now there was one thing that Anansi wanted more than anything else in the world. So one day, when he met Tiger in the forest, Anansi said, Tiger, Tiger, you have so many things named after you. The tiger lily that grows in the forest, the tiger moth that flies in the sky, and the tiger stories which we all tell. Everyone knows your name, but no one knows mine. I wonder, would you give me the tiger stories? Then everyone will know my name, Anansi, and my stories. The Anansi stories. Well, Anansi, you will have to prove just how clever you are before I will give you my stories. Go, catch Snake, tie him up, and bring him to me. Alive. Then you can have my stories. Tiger didn't think that Anansi would be able to catch Snake, so he laughed as Anansi scuttled away. But Anansi wanted those stories, and he was determined to catch Snake, tie him up, and take him to Tiger alive. He thought. Then he went down to the river where Snake lived. Snake, Snake, how long you are. I think you must be the longest snake in the world. In fact, I was saying to Tiger only this morning that I thought you were longer than that bamboo. But he didn't believe me. So, Tiger doesn't think I'm the longest. Does he? We'll see. Snake stretched himself out on the ground and made himself as long as he could. Then Anansi began to measure him. But when Anansi put the bamboo beside Snake, Snake said, No, 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 Anansi. You're not measuring me properly. Tie my head and my tail to the bamboo. Then we'll see. Trying not to laugh, Anansi tied Snake's head to one end of the bamboo and tied Snake's tail to the other end of the bamboo. Snake was delighted to see that he was longer than the bamboo. You see, I am longer than the bamboo. Take me to Tiger and show him. Then he will believe us. And Nancy was delighted to agree with Snake. And triumphantly, he carried Snake, tied up and alive, to Tiger. When Tiger saw that Anansi had done as he'd asked, he had to give Anansi the stories. Anansi was thrilled. And from that day to this, those stories are known as the Anansi stories. 
because the long snake was carried to the strong tiger by the clever spider, Anansi. And there's Anansi safely back on the board again. Perhaps he could tell his stories to the ant and the alligator. Ant. Apple. Mm. Alligator. Ant, apple, and alligator. Alligator, ant. Both these words start with the same letter. Watch how Magic Pencil writes it. All the way round, down, and flick. 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 A tiny ant went out one day, he was climbing up a stalk. When along came a great big elephant, he was going for a walk. The ant didn't wait for a dreadful fate, I'm off but I'll be back later. So he climbed up the toes and reached the nose of a friendly alligator. But the alligator stretched his toothy jaw and the ant slithered down to the tail. He clung on tight but was filled with fright as they both went for a sail. Before they sank, they came to a bank. I'll be home for tea, said the ant. But before he could eat, he was squashed by the feet of a great big elephant. Poor little ant. He was okay, though. He managed to squeeze out between the toes of the elephant after an amazing adventure. Adios, ant. See you later, alligator. Bye.